find the first three non-zero terms in the Maclaurin series for the function f of x equal to the sine of x multiplied by the arctangent of x. So how do we do this? We have to go to our cheat sheet or the table of power series to understand that these are two guys that are on there. Sine of x power series is on there and this arctan of x power series is on there. They only differ by the fact that uh, sine of x has uh, factorials in the denominator and arctan doesn't. And so we multiplied these two functions power series together. Now they said the first three non-zero terms so let's just take the first three non-zero terms of each. Although we have four here Let's just take the first three. Simplifying three factorial, we get six. Five factorial is 120. And so, let's see if that's gonna be enough. Let's go to the next slide and FOIL this out. Alrighty, so we'll multiply x by x by minus x cubed over three and by x fifth over five. And it's just gonna bump the power of each of those up by one. There's more terms, but let's just say hopefully that the first three non-zero ones will be enough. Now when we go to multiply the next term, we don't have to do it by all three. When we do it, the first one will have our minus x fourth over x uh, over 6 and then we'll have our positive x sixth over 18 the 6 and 3 get multiplied there's no need to go times the x to the fifth that would give us a power that's higher than our first three powers here so long as everything doesn't cancel out we're in good shape when it comes time to multiply the, the x to the fifth over 120 we just need to multiply it by the x because that gives us our x to the sixth term. We have a positive one over 120 times a, a positive one. So we just get positive one over 120 x to the sixth. There's some other terms there, but we're gonna add these vertically. Line them up so that the powers match up. So the first term is x squared and then next we'd have to take the fraction negative one-third and negative one-sixth and add them together. Common denominator is six. So we times by two on the first fraction and we get negative two take away one over six. This is negative three over six which is just negative a half. So that's the coefficient on x to the fourth. As far as the coefficient on x to the sixth, there's three fractions we need to add. A fifth, an eighteenth, and one over one twenty. It isn't very obvious what the common denominator between all three of them is going to be, but I look at one fifth and one over one twenty and know I can put those together rather quickly, knowing that the common denominator is one twenty, and it takes twenty four times five to get to that. So we have 24 plus the 1, putting these two guys together to give me 25 over 120. I still have the 1 over 18, but what's nice about the 25 over 120 is that it reduces by a factor of 5. So we'll have 5 over 24. And now it's the common denominator between 24 and 18, and that's going to be 72. 18 times 4 and 24 times 3. So we'll have 15 of them and we'll add on 4 of them for a grand total of 19 of them. And that's your coefficient on x to the sixth. 19 over 72. They wanted the first three non-zero terms, so we are done. That is our answer x squared minus 1 half x fourth plus 1 over 92 x to the sixth.